So Robert Zemeckis, what first attracted you to this incredible story? Well, I came across the story, uh, I was channel surfing, and I came across the documentary on PBS, and I started watching it, and after watching it for about 10 or 15 minutes, I started to sense that there was a germ in there of what could become a really interesting and different um, motion picture. I thought that what, what I could see in the story is something that only you could do in a, in a, in a movie, and a, a movie would be the best way to tell the story. And what do you hope audiences will take away from it? Well, I think audiences, I mean, the thing that I think is the most important underlying theme of the movie is it's hopeful, you know, and so I think, uh, you know, the, you know, uh, you know, hopefully audiences will take away that hope part of the of the story. But also, I love the idea of the um, healing power of art and that we use art no matter what it is. Everyone has sort of everyone. I've, I believe everyone has an artistic expression. And, um, and we use that to try to make sense of very complicated emotional things in our, in our lives. And I think that the audience can identify with that in this, in this movie. Can you tell me a little bit about the artistic expression that is Mr. Steve Carell? Well, Mr. Steve Carell is a, is a giant artistic artist. And his ability to express himself artistically is, is huge. And he was the perfect choice for this part because I knew that he could do all the all the comedy I needed for both parts of the movie, but especially for the Captain Hoagie part. And then he has you know this magnificent this magnificent you know dramatic ability as an actor to do the emotional and the and the um, and the heart wrenching stuff that the that the live action character has to deliver. You have an incredible bevy of talent in your female leads as well. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about them a little bit? Yeah, I've got a fantastic cast from, you know, Janelle Monet to Gwendolyn Christie and Leslie Mann and Aza Gonzalez and Merritt Weaver. I mean, they're fantastic. I've got a great, great cast of the, the women of Marwin, these incredibly strong women who are the guardians and the protectors of, of, um, of Mark. Can you talk about creating the world that you did of Marwin, both in real life and this amazing fantasy sequence as well? Well, the you know it was inspired by the real story where you know Mark built this little miniature world in his backyard, and we wanted to keep that 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 idea of it being um, you know you know kind of handmade world of his, and that's the world that is what I'll call the Dow world. So the way we did that mechanically is we would we built actual miniatures of both the world and each of the dolls, and of course we would scan them into the computer, and that became the environment that the dolls lived in, and we would then you know bring all that to life. What about directing the actors when they had to create the motion capture parts of it? To me, it's the best time because all that I have to do, and all the actor has to do when we're doing motion capture is act. We don't have to worry about cameras. We don't have to worry about lighting. We don't have to worry about sets. Uh, the only thing the actors miss is they don't get to wear a costume. Um, but then they get to work all day. We move really quickly, and we do scenes from beginning to end, and all we talk about is performance. So it's always great.